Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. Oh, there's a bit of an echo. Uh, I thought I would jump on today and do a little bit of an update and hopefully, fingers crossed, a bit of a motivational video. I've been feeling so amazing the last couple of weeks, particularly um, the last couple of days. And I just wanted to share it with you guys because I feel like my rags to slightly better rags story is feel sometimes like it's not that fun to talk about um because it isn't <laughs> because it's quite boring but it's also sometimes I see success stories you know on Instagram or YouTube and I feel quite intimidated by them because I'm like that's never gonna be me <laughs> like that's way too much for me to have as a goal so I'm very proud of myself and I feel like I'm really achieving so much in the last, you know, year, six months to a year. And I feel like it's quite an achievable thing that I've done. You know, it's not anything particularly crazy or that anyone can't achieve. So yeah, I thought I would let you guys know what's been up with me and the kind of positives that I've been trying to do the last few months and how it's going. Also, my extensions are back. I'm so happy, I miss them. Um, yeah, I haven't really done anything with my hair. I've just done my brows and put some lipstick on. So I'm not looking the best, but I'm not looking the worst. So we'll take that. If you watch some of my previous videos, you'll, see, you'll know that I mentioned that I was gonna go to Leicester for work. Um, so I went there, was it last week? Was that it? <laughs> last week and it was absolutely incredible um i just had the absolute best time it was so much fun it was so nice to meet all of my team and my different colleagues and i kind of they mixed up all of the teams and put us on different tables which i was so nervous about because i haven't actually even met my team in person like this was the first time i've met my team so i was like i wanted to sit with them because i haven't even met them yet but um it was so much fun. It was really, really lovely. Everyone was so nice. And it was just so much fun to be doing something, you know, kind of pre-pandemic-ish. And um, it's the first time I've ever done anything like that. This fire's gonna drive me Go away. Fuck off. Obviously you guys know my story. Um, I didn't do anything like Christmas or birthdays. So, or like, work parties so this was really exciting for me it's the first time i've ever done anything like that i was so nervous um brandon didn't come with me so i was really nervous because i'm just so used to having him with me um you know and like social things because i don't have any kind of training as to how to deal with social situations in fact quite the opposite i was told to stay away from people who were outside of my religion so it goes completely against everything that my brain tells me to make an effort with workmates and to have fun with them um, and to let myself relax um, but it was absolutely incredible and since then i've come back and been working really hard obviously it's the second month now that i've been in my new job properly and have like targets and um clients that are assigned to me um and i've had a, an incredible month like such a good month i am so proud of myself i've been working so hard and i'm at 92 percent i think for this month that i need to achieve so i am just absolutely like beside myself with joy i'm so happy I'm proud of myself for how hard I've been working and I'm really finding my feet. So yeah, I'm so proud because obviously I have like no sales experience apart from being a Jehovah's Witness and having to sell religion on the daily. But apart from that, um, <laughs> I've got no business sales experience. So yeah, and I was just kind of looking back on my life, you know, at the beginning of the pandemic or just before the pandemic. So like February 2020. I was working part-time at a distribution center, but they provide the food for like the Oriental supermarket. And no, it's an Oriental supermarket and they provide like the takeaways with the ingredients that they need, you know, like the Chinese takeaway with pak choy and that kind of thing, like the Oriental food. And I was working part-time there. 
really struggling being on part-time hours i wasn't even like making enough to pay on my bills but obviously as a jehovah's witness your priority has to be like the preaching work and you're kind of shamed even if it's not like forced it's still very much encouraged work is just there to support you doing the preaching work and stuff so i was really struggling and then obviously i'd met brandon in the september before that so we'd been together a few months and he was saying you know look you don't need to work part-time anymore you need to find something else you need to at least be paying your rent and your bills like this is stupid why are you doing this when you don't need to work part-time anymore like you've not been a Jehovah's witness for a few months why are you still doing this found this company and it was full-time as like a receptionist and the, an administrative role and i was like perfect and i got it and i loved the team and then obviously lockdown happened and i was even more relieved because we could all work from home and if i'd been furloughed from my previous job if i had been furloughed like 80 percent of a part-time wage i'd have been in an even worse position um so i'm very grateful to brandon for kind of encouraging me and suggesting that I find a new job. In April, I was told by my previous manager about this new role, which is like so kind, you know, like she knew I really wanted to progress in my um, career. And she mentioned, you know, there's this new team being started and, you know, it's gonna be a lot of work, but if you wanna apply for it, I think you'd be really good for it. So I applied and I got it and I started late April, I think it was. And yeah, so I've been in it for a few months now. We're now looking for a house, um, like a bigger, because obviously this is just a flat and it's really tiny. So we're looking for like a house to be in for about a year or so until we can buy a place. And it's just like absolutely ludicrous. Two months, I think, and I will be debt free. And it's just like blows my mind. I never ever thought that I would get to where I'm at. Um, no tea, no shade, because I don't, think that there's any stigma around there shouldn't be any stigma around this and there certainly is no judgment from me for this but there is a point to why i'm saying this i grew up in council houses um you know I, for me renting a house of my own like ha having a private landlord was the you know top tier like airs and graces because it was very it was completely different to my childhood um so for me to be able to be saving up for a mortgage and to get a house and a dog and we're planning a wedding you know like we've put a deposit down on our absolute dream venue um thinking about babies like it just blows my mind that there is so much now that i have ahead of me and i just money is not the be all and end all but feeling successful in whatever you do is it's not about what you do it's about how much you love it and that's what makes you truly successful and I just feel like I've really found I think I've finally started living the life I've always been meant to be living and I've always been with many many exceptions to this but I am at the core of me a very positive person at least a very tenacious person and I work my absolute hardest for everything that I have. I've always worked hard, I have a really strong work ethic and I'm just so proud that I finally had the strength thanks to kind of the circumstances that, you know, meeting Brandon and, and everything surrounding, you know, me leaving the Jehovah's Witnesses. I'm just so proud that I had the strength to keep it up and you know then to listen to suggestions of people saying well, why don't you do this and why don't you do that because change is scary and change is something that you know even if you're not happy in the situation you're in sometimes it's better the devil you know and you think well i don't want to change it because i don't know whether the next thing i'm going to go for is going to be even worse so it was a big deal for me and it was big a big jump for me to change everything about my life um, and I'm just so proud of myself. I'm so proud of how well I've adjusted to, you know, having had 26 years in a life and then in two years having had everything completely change and everything about my focal point and my life is completely different. And I'm just so happy with where I'm at. And I have so much, I, I feel like I wake up every day with an excitement for that day and nerves for what the day is going to bring but you know just so much excitement about 
what I have ahead of me and the people that I have in my life and the things that I'm gonna do and the things that I have planned and the things I don't have planned. Like, I've always been such a control freak. I always need to know everything that's happening and be completely, you know, in control of every situation, mainly because I had to be. When situations are the way they are, sometimes you do have to be in control. You don't have the luxury of being able to be spontaneous or chill. It's so nice for me, although it is very difficult and it's certainly a learning process. It's so lovely to not have to be in control all the time and to be able to let things be spontaneous and be able to say, you know, oh, Brandon, why don't we go out for a drink tonight? Stupid things like that would never have been my life before, you know, to be able to just spontaneously do things is such a lovely position to be in. And in terms of other people's careers and other people's years, maybe I haven't achieved anything that's particularly grandiose. I've changed jobs, I've got a better paying job, and I'm gonna go from a tiny little flat to maybe a two bedroom house that's terraced in not a great area, you know, but that for me is night and day. It's incredible to have that to look forward to. And then the next year to have a mortgage, which some people will be like, well, You know, some people would be like, but you can't buy a house, so it's not really that successful. It is for me. And then to buy a dog, that is success for me. To have a wedding that I never even began to dream of having. Um, you know, it's just, there's just so much that I'm looking forward to, which is totally achievable stuff for everybody, but is completely beyond what I ever thought I could have or deserved. So, I really hope that this makes someone out there think, okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna throw myself into this, of course being sensible, because I didn't just jump out of the job I was in into finding something else. I had something else and then I left. So I'm not here to be, you know, a boss babe and be like, give it up. You have to risk it to make it. You gotta lose it to have it. Like, I think that's so stupid. I'm here to say, if you have a dream and there's now, even if it's a vague dream that's just I want to have a dog or I want to have a garden if there's something in your life that you think I want this then make it happen you have to work you have to work for everything you have and I've worked so hard to I've done some shitty jobs I've like scrubbed toilets in a leisure center at 6 a.m no I think it was earlier than that I think I started at three some stupid time. I've done, you know, working at the council and then going for a cleaning job in the evening. Like I have done it all to get to where I am now. And you do, you have to really work for it, but you deserve it and you can have it. And I don't know necessarily if I subscribe to manifestation completely, but I certainly believe that a positive attitude doesn't do any wrong. It certainly helps you to give off the right energy to people that you're talking to and that's what you know a boss or a landlord or whatever it is that you're looking to change that's what they're looking for so truly believe that you can have it and then make it happen however that needs to be for you and there are things out there that you can do and I left school with my GCSEs and that was it and I have worked my way to where I am now and it's been hard work, but I've done it and I still work hard. I'm not gonna sit here and be a boss babe and say, you know, and now I don't have to do anything. It just does it for me. I work fucking hard every single day. I am always grinding. The hustle is on, the hustle is here, baby. I work really hard. I worked a bit too hard at the beginning, staying up until like 11 doing work, but I work very hard, but I like what I do. And I work hard because I want to achieve things and I've got so much enthusiasm that's been awoken that I wasn't allowed to nurture before and I wasn't encouraged to encourage. So yeah, I'm really proud and I hope that this video makes you think I can do it. I need to be patient and put in the work, but yeah, I'm gonna work for it and be proud of whatever
success you have, however small, however big you feel it is, success is success. And it isn't measured by how much of it you have. It's measured by how it makes you feel. So yeah, I really hope this helped. I'm feeling very enthusiastic and very happy today. So I thought I would make the most of that because it's very rare. <laughs> no, it's not really. Um, but I thought I would just film a video whilst I'm feeling infused. Um, and yeah, I hope that this was encouraging and helpful for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know that I've been really rubbish. Me making a YouTube video, as you can tell by the fact that I am not like, that I haven't been working on building my brand and the fact that I don't post consistently. It's always, it was a start of lockdown, bit of fun with makeup. And I really enjoy it for things like this, you know, when I have something to say to be able to jump on. If there's ever anything that you guys are like, oh, I'd love her to do this, you can always suggest it in the comments or follow me on Instagram and let me know in the DMs. Um, yeah, I'm kind of, I'm chill. I like to do something every so often on this channel, but I thought I would use it to be enthusiastic and hopefully inspire someone to make some changes that will make their life that little bit better. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I love you very much and I'll see you soon, maybe. <laughs> Bye.